Let's make mezcalitas. Welcome to episode two of Food and Drinks inspired by my music. Today we are making mezcalita. You will need passion fruit juice, mezcal tequila, agave, or any type of classic syrup to sweeten the drink, tahine as the rim. Get yourself a nice shaker, a juicer for the lime, lime, of course. <laughs> ice, ice, baby. And a partner. Don't forget the to chips. drink Don't snacks. Chips, baby. Never hungry. Let's do it. So let's chat. I want to know more, mm. and the people want to know. So we're going to give them what they want, right? Mm. So. Tell me about the beginning of tequila. Where was it born? How, when, and why? So, tequila was born in the Dominican Republic, 2023. I was on vacation, all-inclusive type situation, and I was in Punta Cana. I had brought all my equipment down there. I knew that there was an energy I wanted to capture. You know, just being in certain environments, you just have to capture that in that moment, so. Absolutely. So I brought my equipment, I was in my hotel room looking through beats by a dude we would later become friends with named Eugene. Incredible Our producer. Our boy. Shout out Eugene. Shout Our out Kenya. Eugene. Kenya. Later find out that he's from Kenya and that just blew my mind even more. But yeah, I was looking through beats by him and he just had that sound that captured everything I was seeing. The perfect mix of Afro, R&B, dancehall, pop, like kind of just fusion. perfect for the beach. Yeah, fusion. I cooked up the idea there, brought it back home. You gassed me up and then I finished it. Wow, so it basically began in Dominican Republic mm -hmm. and it finished in Mexico. Yeah. How beautiful. It was written in two countries and then shot in another country. Wow. So it, was, it took three countries to make the experience of that song. From wow. sonically and visually. Talk about inspiration. I know. That's very cool. <laughs> I played you the song. It wasn't even finished yet, but we decided a remix was necessary. Tell us about your approach to the remix. Hearing the song, what happened? Honestly, from the jump, I was in vessel mode because I was inspired by you and I was inspired by this beat and everything about it. Immediately, it was like, you're gonna name drop a bunch of cocktails. And you did. The first thing I did was go on Google <laughs> and search up all different <clears throat> types of summer tropical cocktails. It didn't take me very long to create this. It just, it was vessel mode. It like was it, maximum two hours, I would say even less. It really just happened. Mm -hmm. I witnessed it. I knew immediately that I was gonna enter with, I'm trying to get there, beat drops, I'm here, hello. So I basically just tagged along and as I went through my pocket and I decided how many bars do I have? How much can I fit in here? Not that I want to do too much. How can we leave space of silence? I went through my drink list. What I talked about in the interview with Igor, it's kind of like a color book. When you have your sketch, you just color it in. Boozed up from top to bottom, it's a big shot. Ugh. So not only incorporating the cocktails, but also incorporating warm water got me feeling real, all vacation themed, very much on brand. I did not want one word to be a placeholder. I wanted everything to have Oh yeah? Name. How about when you said the? <laughs> it's on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> right. Eventually, I finished the verse. I went up to my room while he was in the basement she because did. I- <laughs> She did. She said, send me the beat, bye. I sat there, rehearsed it. You know, I wanted to come with it. Like at the end of the day, Imad has impressed me as an artist before he was ever my boyfriend, before he was even my friend. We were friends before we started dating. You've always impressed me. You really just have this energy about you that's so undeniable, so fierce, so powerful. You're unforgettable. You, there was that, that healthy competition, that healthy push, it was so, so good, it pushed me to boundaries I don't think I've ever reached as a writer. Mm. Oh my goodness, the wave of inspiration that this song brought me. And ultimately, I can only say thank you. Thank you for bringing this into my life. Thank you for coming into my life. And thank you for 
allowing me to be a part of this wow. incredible, incredible song. Of course. I love you. I love you. So now, mm -hmm. to add a little bit of fun and spice to this conversation. Well, you, it wasn't fun and spicy this whole time? It was always fun and spicy. <laughs> what is your favorite tequila? But I'll say my second favorite would be tequila mojito. Yeah, you love your mojitos. My babes love mint. The mint, it's yeah. so refreshing. It's yeah. just something about it. I don't know, especially where it's warmer and tropical. You're on the beach with a tequila mojito. Bro, just try that. Just try it. So good. Let's try it. I would say mine is spicy strawberry margarita. It is phenomenal. But ultimately, mezcalita for the win, baby. Mezcalita. Stay tuned for the music video. Check out the song. You can buy it on imodmusic.com. Have fun making this drink. I'm sure every single one of you will love it. And cheers to summer. Cheers to tequila.